Hey everyone, welcome back. I know it's been some time, but I'm so glad that you're here. This is Shelly, also known as Letters by Shells, and I'm excited about this tutorial because today I'm gonna to be showing you all how to make a super simple GIF or a GIF however you wanna call it. But I'm excited about this because we're gonna do it all on Procreate. So let's get started. For this project, we're gonna be opening up our Procreate app and making a brand new canvas. For this, I'm gonna go ahead and just do 1800 for the pixels for both width and height and just rename your canvas to whichever name. I was overthinking this, so I just called it GIF1. So I'm hoping to do more tutorials about this in the future, so hopefully we'll be making more GIFs together. But afterwards, go ahead and hit create and a new canvas should open up. So you'll see that this canvas, it's basically same width and height, so it's just like a perfect box. So when I first make a GIF, my first thing is choosing a specific color palette. So for this GIF, we're gonna be doing a total of four frames. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my color wheel and I'm gonna be using my Desert Vibes color palette. It's now also available at my Etsy shop. I'm gonna be using it for this project as well. So to create my color palette, I'm gonna to go to my brush folder, choose the airbrushing folder and the hard brush, just because I love that it can create like a really nice solid circle. So I'm basically just opening up my color palette and just choosing the colors that I would want for the GIF. So I'm starting off with a light color, a dark color, and then a light color again along with another dark color so I just wanted to kind of have a, a specific pattern throughout the entire GIF. So again each of the frames that we'll be doing for the GIF will be in this specific color palette pattern. So I'm just opening up my layers just to rename my color palette layers that way you can see what I'm doing here. Afterwards I'm gonna go ahead open up my layers tab again and open up a brand new layer and call it frame one. This is gonna be the first frame that we're gonna be creating for our GIF. So I'm gonna use my eyedropper color thing and choose the first color that we pick together. And then now opening up my brush library and choosing my favorite lettering brush, which is, which is also a brush that I made called Thick Brush also available at my Etsy shop as well. So I'm gonna think about something fun. Uh, let's go ahead and write the word yay. So feel free just to have fun with this process. Feel free just to undo some things if you're not happy with it. But yeah, just have fun during this process. After you're done, I'm just gonna make sure that my word yay is centered on the canvas. And now opening up my layers tab and making a brand new layer. This one I'm gonna call frame two. So essentially what we're gonna be doing is now choosing another color. So getting our color picker and choosing the second color that we chose and basically just writing on top of the word EA. So just tracing it exactly how I wrote the first time. But you'll you'll notice that it's like nearly impossible to trace identically how I first did it. So you may notice that some lines are not exactly the same from when I initially wrote it and that's totally okay. So now after you're done with the frame two, opening up a new layer again and calling it frame three. So you'll kind of get the idea that we're just repeating this exact same process, but you just have to make sure that each frame that you do is being written in a different color. So you'll see that all my frames all have the colors that we chose for the color palette. And I'm just basically tracing it over. And the last step is opening up a new layer and calling it frame four and choosing the last color that we chosen together and just writing the word yay one last time. So you'll basically get to see here that there's a total of four frames now and you'll see that frame one shows like that peach tone uh, color that I used and then the frame two will be like an orange color and, and then it goes to like a yellow shade. So you'll kind of get an idea exactly how their frames are being played out. So the last thing I'm gonna have you do is now delete the color palette. So delete the first layer that we made together because I don't want that to be a part of the creation. And for the last and final step, which is super exciting, I'm going to have you open up the, or tap on the wrench icon, which is your actions, and just tap on animated GIF. And take a look at that, how fun is this? So usually the default is like frames per second at 15 seconds, but I like to kind of play around with this number and see between like um, five seconds to seven seconds and see how the transition is. So have fun and experiment with this and just kind of test it out. But I think I'm okay at having it around 
around five seconds. I'm gonna turn off my background. The reason why I want it to be a transparent background is because if I were to put this on a website, Instagram stories, or text it to somebody, I don't wanna have that white background that comes with it. So I think I'm happy with this. So you just go ahead and hit export and then save it to your photo library and you're pretty much all set and you can use this anywhere. You can, again, use the Instagram stories, text it to people, email it to people. I think it's just so much fun and it brings your illustration to life. So I really hope you had a good time. And if you ever have any questions, you know, feel free just to comment them below or reach out to me on Instagram and I would love to see your creations. So if you do make this, please give me a quick tag on Instagram at Letters by Shells. So again, just a few resources. Today we used my Procreate lettering brushes called a Thick Brush, also available at my Etsy shop along with the color palette. The color palette that I used for this one, it is called the Desert Vibes that I recently launched as well, also available at my Etsy shop. And other resources is that if you want to check out my hand lettering book, it's also available on Amazon. So it talks about the basics from brush lettering to iPad lettering. And if you also want to learn my style of lettering, I have a bunch of practice sheets available at my Etsy shop as well. And I would love for you to check it out. I have all the links listed in the caption below. But yes, thank you so much for your love and support. I appreciate you all so much and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.